What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. I got two uh, keyboards here from Kizzy and uh, they sent this to me and asked me to take a look at them. One of them is a, a color wave series and the other one I believe is like a retro series. So I, 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 they asked me to pick out the color. I didn't know which is which. Uh, these two are the ones that looks the best. So that's what you're seeing here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna unbox these two and take a look at the difference. Um, they're pretty much, they're the same keyboard under the hood. It's just different keycaps and uh, different switches. That's it, okay? All right, so let's take a look. Okay, so I don't know which is which. Uh, I try to look at the description on the box, but nothing says what is what, so let's Take a look at box number one. By the way, that is the model number, K75 Pro. Both of them are, by the way. I mean, guys, if you're into retro, this is beautiful. These keycaps. By the way, love the cover. I actually use these cover quite a bit on my other keyboards as well. Took a minute here and appreciate the old styled retro color keyboard. I love it. It's so beautiful. I mean, can you imagine the aesthetic back here? Okay, so this definitely got some heft to it compared to my, uh, compared to my, <laughs> well, it's 60%, but this, this keyboard right here, like the entire thing is just plastic. This Razer keyboard. There's, there's, no, there's no heft to it at all. But you see the entire thing though, the surrounding though is, is plastic though. But this thing has some heft to it. So something inside of it is actually uh, making it very heavy, which I like by the way. I don't like my keyboard sliding all over my desk. Oh. So, this must be a red switch. The, I have to say the space bar is very stabilized. Very stabilized. Check this out. They've got some screws here i mean it just makes it look so retro i love it okay so let's see here you got yourself off uh i believe this is bluetooth and then this is 2.4 gigahertz right there i love the the switches that's beautiful so once i flip the switch and turn it on you see that there's a battery level indicator right here yeah it tells you 70 percent i'm assuming that is the battery and by the way i love these um 75 percent keyboard because the one thing that i do miss in using a 60 percent keyboard here is the arrow keys i type and i make a lot of mistake and i use the arrow key to go back to things and i'm just missing uh, that piece right there. Other than that, I think the compactness of the 60% is really nice. So um, I prefer the 75% because of the extra keys that I need, but I actually don't like the full size keyboard at all. Uh, even though I have a lot of desk space, I just don't think that it's, it's worth uh, having that much, that entire keypad on the right hand side where my mouse is. Some things to appreciate here is they actually do have some ports for you right here. Here's some here's two USB-C port and one USB-A. Back here you got yourself a USB-A. I'm assuming this is the 2.4 gigahertz uh, receiver and it's magnetized in there. Kickstand, two level kickstand with rubber feet by the way. One level level the RGB looks really good this is a very linear switch obviously yeah this is a very linear switch comes with a keycap puller and switch puller by the way and also USB-C cord wow. 
but USB-C to USB-C or it has a USB-A attachment as well. Very nice touch there. All right, so there's the retro version of the keyboard. Now let's take a look at this box. This is the color series. Now they did ask me to pick out a color, like I said earlier, and I picked out the gray color. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? The translucent keys. I've never seen anything like this. It actually looks like a typewriter if you just look at this. That's beautiful. I love the chrome accent. If you look on this right here, this is a chrome. And then see these ports right here. Entire thing is chrome. Beautiful. All right. Flip the switch. Look at that. Because it's translucent on the side, it's a lot brighter. Obviously, if you're going for a retro look, you wouldn't want it that bright. Versus this color series is, uh, yeah, it's colorful, right? Take a look at some of the design on the buttons right here. Beautiful. And yeah, translucent. You can see through it. So the one thing that is different about the Color Wave series here is that they did include extra keycaps for you as well. There's four keycaps in there and obviously some extra switch in case you want to swap things out. Time to test the switch. Yeah, very linear switch. I can actually, it has a little feel to it. Well, I feel like I'm pressing it down. Uh, not as, not as much, I don't know how to explain it, but with the uh, Cherry MX red switch, you know, those are linear switch, right? So it doesn't have this bump whenever I press on it. But these switch right here, I do feel a bump, but they're, but they're quiet. This is just beautiful, guys. I just can't get over how beautiful this thing is. Same receiver there. Can we also appreciate how they match the rubber gray with the keyboard gray? If you look, if you look on the retro, you know, they match the white, right? And then the kickstand. I love the fact that they pay attention to those details. That's what makes it worth the money whenever you're buying something like this, right? These keycaps feel really nice, by the way. There's, there's a little indention into them, um, almost like a typewriter indention. If, you're, if you've ever used a typewriter, maybe I'm dating myself by saying that. These caps right here does not feel like these at all. These feels like uh, what you would get out of like a Razer keyboard. Uh, pretty, pretty standard on the retro, but color wave series though, it feels different, the keycaps. I love the way they've done the switch. That is beautiful. All right, so uh, let's talk about some lighting things here, okay? I've turned down the studio light, just leave one light open, uh, to on, I mean. So let's give this thing a try, okay? So I've honed down function and pressing this key right here, the slash key, would change the lighting. You have it. So this one right here, uh, it's pretty interesting, I guess. If you look at this, whenever I press a button, it turns off. All right. So then if you want to change some mode on it, meaning that so right now it's all colorful and everything, right? You can hold down function and then press this button right here. And then that will change the actual color of it. So yeah, that's just changing color to different ones, but it does mode wise, it does the same thing. So then let's change the mode. So now here's the mode where it's like snake. 
and it just runs back and forth. That's it. So once again, right now it's RGB, right? So if you hold down function and you press this button right here. It's all green, all red, blue, and so on and so forth. So now change mode again. This mode right here, I'm not sure what it is. I think it's just a wave. So if you look at it, it's going from left to right. See that? But obviously if you want to just single color to match your gaming setup here's just blue uh, purple I actually love purple as my gaming setup so that's a nice one now this one right here looks like it's turned off but it's really not see that it's one of those where it reacts to your key press And obviously, that's RGB that you saw there, right? Once again, if you change it, so now it's blue. So, you know, this looks re really neat when you're going really fast, right? Someone looking at you on your keyboard, you can see all these lights just flare up. All right, next one. This is like super wavy. So you see how fast this thing is right now? It's wavy. Um, you can actually slow it down if you want. Hold down function, and there you go. It's slower. Oh, by the way, this is brightness right, right here. Up and down is brightness. And then this is slow and fast. So now it's really fast. All right, let's change that mode. This is like a wheel. It's actually turning the color spectrum you see that it's a, it's like a wheel this is going top to bottom and this is from the center it just burst out and this is just literally generic static rgb this is breathing um, obviously, it looks cooler if it's slower. So there you go. Now it's a lot slower in terms of breathing. So this is breathing but on a single color. And this one right here is the entire row. So if you press any keys on that row, it just lights up that way. Here's red, blue, green, dark blue. Oh, I, I like this blue. And this is just raining. And this is, this is the cool one right here. I like this one. Right in the middle and just burst. Yeah, I may keep it that one right there. So anyway, both keyboards should be doing the same thing. That one right there obviously is a lot brighter. Uh, but if you go over to this one right here, you see, it's not as impactful and, and it's not as jarring. So it depends on your style. I think um, either one would be great because it does the same thing. So guys, the last thing that I want to mention is that um, there are literally three modes right here. So 2.4 gigahertz Bluetooth, which that's the mode that I've been on. And you see this little Q button right here, just keep flashing. Um, but basically what that means is that if you look right underneath right here, it says, you see how it says one, two, and three? Well, what that basically means is there's three different devices that you can connect with the Bluetooth. So right now it's sitting at Q, which is number one. So I can connect this to like my iPad and then I can, I can switch over to number two on the fly with Bluetooth and I can use my phone on it and so on and so forth. It's pretty common uh, for these keyboards, so I'm glad they included that, three different profiles. And then obviously 2.4 gigahertz, if you're gaming, I recommend you using 2.4 gigahertz or if you just want really low latency, then 
you just hit off and then plug your keyboard into your computer and that would also power it charge it that kind of stuff speaking of charging let me just let me just plug this one in if you plug your keyboard in you're going to see the charging indicator right there so that turns it off right there but you see it's still on if i were to press it so yeah, that's wired mode right there. You just flip the switch over to off and it turns it into wired mode. Very easy to understand. Some of the other one, I don't know why they don't just implement that right there. Uh, some of the other one, I have to press like keys and stuff like that in order to go into Bluetooth 2.4 gigahertz or wired. So there you go guys, that's the Kizzy keyboard right there. One version is the retro version, which I'm probably gonna keep this on my desk for a little bit. And then I'm gonna switch over to this color wave model right here which uh it's fantastic it's there's so much color to this thing i yeah it's gonna brighten up my desk for sure anyway that's it for me right there i want to thank kizzy for sending me these two and uh, actually give me a color choice i totally love it um i can't uh, I, I may have, have to bug them to get me some other colors as well i don't know i'm this is these are beautiful hope you guys find this video useful and i'll see you in the next one Bye-bye.